all right hey y'all welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel so today i've got something a little bit different from nadula hair so if you're interested in this look keep on watching y'all so let's get right into this look so first i'm starting off using my black panther 24 hour edge control this has been my number one edge control i've been using it in all my headband wig all those kind of videos and not just period like every single day i love this stuff i got mine off amazon so i will put the link down below in the description box for you it holds pretty good and i think the main reason why i have been using it non-stop you guys is because it does not leave a white cast on my hair and so many other edge controls do so I highly recommend it I highly suggest you try it I would really like to know if you all like it or not and because I am addicted to this stuff my legume jam I'm popping this on my edges like I do in every single video as well this is the secret weapon that I'm sharing with y'all if you want your edges to stay in place you don't need a lot of it but this combo is perfect it's the best combination I have um, found to keep my hair nice and laid and you don't need a lot of this um, legume jam as well. You just need a very little because a little goes a long way. So after I've got my hairline, my edges the way I want them, I'm just going to pull my um, wig cap up on this side and then I will work on the other side. So here you guys can see just how laid they are. And I touched it to just to make sure it was nice and set, which it is. And it doesn't take long for this gel to dry and for your edges to be set in place. So if you use this special coupon code, you are able to get five random free gifts. So this is just everything that was included in my bag here. And I will put that down below in the description box as well for you guys. But this is the unit we are working with today. So this is their Kinky Curly three fourth wig or also known as a half wig the difference with this is it doesn't have like a headband so you've been seeing a lot of headband wigs this one just comes without the tension bands so all you're gonna use are just the combs so what i'm doing i'm just sliding this over my wig cap and then i'm going to secure the comb in the back and then i'm going to come around and secure the comb in the front and all i'm doing is just kind of gently very gently securing the comb right here into my hair so just pushing it backwards and that's all you have to do with this particular wig and i just tugged on it a little bit just to make sure it stayed just to make sure it wouldn't come out so just know all you have to secure this kind of wig is the combs. So as far as styling goes, I'm just spraying a little bit of this Cantu um, spray on the curls and then just brushing them out with this paddle brush. I do recommend not brushing this hair when it's installed. So just brush it, um, comb it out, and then pop it on your head because then it's not pulling on your hair or anything like that, which it kind of was for me. But I just, you know, I just went as gentle as possible. So if you do have to comb it out while it's installed on your head, just make sure you're very gentle and very light with it. It wasn't super tangly or anything like that. It's just that the curls are a little bit tighter than normal. So just take your time whenever you're brushing the hair and combing the hair through. And to define the curls a little bit more, like you see right here, I did pop a little bit of my Lot of Body styling mousse or styling foam on top just to give it some hold and some definition as well. So 
So once I've got everything brushed out, combed out, styled to my liking, this is how the curls are looking, which I think they were really pretty. It's kind of an in-between like a kinky curly and just a curly. Um, but it was different. I don't think I've ever tried this type of curl pattern with Nadula hair, but yeah, I think it, I think it was kind of cute, y'all. So as far as styling the hair, I'm just gonna pop a headband right over where the two meet, so where the wig and then my natural hair meet right here. And that's pretty much all you have to do with this wig. I think this wig is gonna be great for someone who doesn't wanna deal with all the fuss when it comes to like a regular lace front wig or even a headband wig. Like to me, this particular wig is strictly for wearing down. And this wig could even be great for someone who gets headaches pretty easily, um, who doesn't like, you know, things around their head or even more tension because with a full headband wig, you do have the combs that you have to attach and then you have the black strap, which is the tension band. So with this, you don't need any of that. I will also say, keep in mind again, just to put it out there that you don't get that added security like you do with a tension band. You just have the comb, so no roller coaster rides for you. So if you are looking for a good work wig or really just something with no fuss, this is gonna be a really great option for you. So that is everything. That is it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, put them down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next one.